And take a look at this. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has captured unprecedented pictures of a newly discovered exoplanet. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye on the universe, has once again delivered a discovery so profound it challenges our understanding of the cosmos. It has sent shockwaves, not just through the astronomical community, but through the very foundation of human thought. This time, its gaze was fixed on Proxima Centauri b, a rocky exoplanet orbiting the red dwarf star right next door, just over four light years from Earth. What it found there has left scientists breathless. A staggering, inexplicable 270% surge in what can only be described as urban lights originating from the planet's night side. These are not the random flashes of natural phenomena like auroras or the glint of stellar reflections off ice. The anomalous light emissions mimic the specific frequency range and complex surface patterns that, on our own world, are exclusively associated with widespread artificial illumination. The implications are not just immense, they are revolutionary. For the first time in our history, we may have a definitive answer to the oldest, most profound question ever asked. We are not alone. Before we start, click the like and subscribe buttons for more updates on this developing story. For decades, Proxima b has been a tantalizing planet of interest. Slightly larger than Earth and orbiting within the habitable zone of its star, it has long been a top candidate for potentially supporting life. Its proximity, a mere stone's throw in cosmic terms, made it a prime target for observation with our most advanced instruments. But it is a world of savage extremes. Its parent star, Proxima Centauri, is a volatile red dwarf known to lash its planets with violent stellar flares and sterilizing radiation, posing a serious challenge to the persistence of any atmosphere, let alone life. Furthermore, the planet is tidally locked a condition where one hemisphere is trapped in eternal, scorching day, while the other is in a perpetual, frozen night. Because of this, scientists believed that if life existed, it would be confined to the Terminator Zone, a narrow temperate band of eternal twilight separating the two brutal extremes. But none of the previous models, none of the simulations, could have prepared scientists for this latest, paradigm-shattering revelation. The discovery began as a routine spectral analysis. A team of astronomers was using the JWST's near-infrared spectrograph, NIR spec, to conduct a long-duration observation, hoping to identify faint atmospheric signatures of gases like methane or carbon dioxide. For hours, the data streamed in, predictable and lining up perfectly with existing models of a barren, rocky world. Then, the anomaly occurred. Over a startlingly brief period of just 45 minutes, the integrated light signature from Proxima b's night side, a side that should have been utterly dark, began a smooth, steady, and exponential climb. It peaked at an unbelievable 270% increase in brightness before stabilizing at this new, elevated level. In observatories and labs across Earth, a quiet, stunned reverence took hold something had turned on the lights. Interpreting these findings required the methodical and rigorous elimination of every conceivable natural cause. Could the surge in brightness have been from an unprecedented volcanic chain reaction? Could it be intense auroral activity from a massive solar flare? Or perhaps the sudden reflection from newly formed crystalline ice? One by one, all these possibilities were methodically modeled and ruled out. The energy profile didn't match volcanic heat. The light lacked the spectral fingerprints of atmospheric auroras, and the structured nature of the source was inconsistent with random reflections. The emissions aligned almost perfectly with the wavelengths common to high-efficiency LED lighting technology, the very kind used in modern urban infrastructure here on Earth. More curiously, these lights were not a uniform, static blob. High-resolution analysis of the light curve revealed a complex spatial arrangement. The patterns resembled dense nodes of intense brightness, consistent with population centers. 
all interconnected by faint linear features that appeared to mimic highways or transportation thoroughfares. The geometry was unmistakably non-random and intelligently structured. This was not a flare or a transient natural event. It showed the persistent, organized structure of a civilization, as if an entire planetary hemisphere had decided to power on. If these lights are indeed the work of an intelligent civilization, then the implications stretch far beyond the realm of astronomy. For one, it may fundamentally alter our place in the universe. The Great Silence, the perplexing enigma known as the Fermi Paradox, has long haunted our discussions about extraterrestrial intelligence. The paradox questions why, in a galaxy with billions of stars and planets, we have never detected any sign of alien life. But now, it seems the silence may have been a matter of our own technological limitation, rather than a reflection of cosmic loneliness. The lights on Proxima b offer a stunning counterpoint to centuries of doubt. They are not a whisper, they are a floodlight. Speculation naturally turns to the nature of the beings responsible. The harsh environment of their world allows us to paint a speculative but educated picture. Life here would be forged in the crimson light of a red dwarf, with native flora likely appearing black or deep purple to absorb every possible photon of energy for photosynthesis. The Proximans' vision would likely be highly sensitive to the infrared part of the spectrum, allowing them to perceive their world in thermal signatures. Their cities, as the JWST data compellingly shows, appear concentrated in the Terminator zone, suggesting a Terminator culture built along the temperate band that circles the planet. This civilization would live in a state of eternal twilight, their architecture designed to withstand the periodic, violent flares of their parent star. Such a luminous surge cannot be casually dismissed or underestimated. The sheer energy required to generate such extensive and bright lighting implies a civilization with incredibly robust and advanced energy production capabilities. Perhaps harnessing geothermal power from a tidally stressed core, or even more advanced sources we can't yet imagine. The perfectly synchronized 270% surge suggests a single planet-wide power grid and a level of coordination that far surpasses even Earth's most integrated megacities. The lights don't flicker with instability or scatter like unplanned, chaotic development. Instead, they radiate with clear purpose and intelligent design. This isn't just a civilization producing light pollution as a byproduct. This is planetary scale illumination. There is also the profound question of intent. Is this sudden, dramatic surge in brightness an accidental byproduct of their societal function? Or could it be a deliberate beacon? A civilization capable of broadcasting its presence on a planetary scale must also understand the implications of doing so. Light travels across the cosmos. It announces presence. It cuts through the shadows, and it defies the silence that might otherwise hide one's existence. It is as if someone on Proxima B flicked a switch and said, Look here. We are here. And with the James Webb Space Telescope, we did. This revelation would force humanity to a philosophical and political crossroads. It could serve as a powerful, unifying force, providing a common cosmic context that makes our own terrestrial conflicts seem petty and insignificant by comparison. Or it could fracture us as nations and ideologies scramble for a strategic or communicative advantage in this new reality. The Proximans, without ever sending a single message, would hold up a mirror to our own civilization. Efforts are already underway to dedicate more of JWST's precious observation time to Proxima b, to analyze this signal in every possible way. There is an undeniable urgency, an acute awareness that if this surge marks the beginning of new activity, then any delays in our response could mean missing critical developments. The night sky will never look the same again. It is no longer a silent canvas of distant lonely stars, but a vast cosmic ocean. And for the first time, we finally, truly know